Peace, peace, peace. This is your brother Monroe Jr. I'm going to be offering my brief commentary right after this quick clip. Peace. The FDA has issued a voluntary recall on a widely used blood pressure medication. A pharmaceutical company Sandoz announced the recall of its drug Losartan after trace amounts of a possible cancer-causing chemical were found. The recall is only for the 100 milligram slash 25 milligram tablets with the lot number JB8912. Patients who are taking this specific medication are urged to talk to their doctors before stopping use. The FDA has issued a voluntary recall on a widely used blood pressure medication over these contamination concerns. Well, Petco is going all now. Peace, peace, peace. This is your brother Monroe Jr. So if you just, as I did, watch the report, this blood pressure medicine is recalled after cancer causing chemicals is found in it and if you know anything about a lot of these drugs they're not holistic they're not there to cleanse your body to purify your body to make your body uh, a more wholesome living organism no they're there to try to moderate whatever you are uh, afflicted with right to try to lessen it to some degree but there are off time byproducts of the result of taking these drugs, brothers and sisters. They are synthetic, man made chemicals that are not natural everything that we need to sustain and maintain our life comes from the earth i'm gonna play a few videos of the minister the honorable minister louis farrakhan talking about um how he has been successful at 84 years old at maintaining his health and you know, for blood pressure, brothers and sisters, there are some things you can do. There are remedies. You can walk and exercise regularly. Reduce your sodium intake, uh, which is salt. You know, like this salt that we're eating, if it's not sea salt or Himalayan salt, if it's the table salt and the regular salt that you're getting from the store is robbed of its nutrients brothers and sisters so you need to reduce your intake of this false this fake salt that you're getting from um the stores if you have high blood pressure and you're drinking alcohol drink less alcohol eat more potassium rich foods like uh vegetables uh leafy greens tomatoes uh Stuff of that nature, brothers and sisters, oranges. If you drink a lot of coffee, cut back on the caffeine. We uh, Another good thing for high blood pressure is learning how to manage stress, right? Lose weight. If you smoke, quit smoking. All of these different vices, uh, things that are not natural, are killing our living organism, which is the body. That is where God dwells. He dwells in us, brothers and sisters. And if we love the temple or the house of the living God, then we have to respect the body, brothers and sisters. This body is, 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 is a multi-trillion dollar invention, right? How dare we destroy? And really, there's no amount of money you can put on it, brothers and sisters. Let us honor what our creator has gifted us with. What would the man who's blind pay to be able to see? What would the man or the person who can't hear be able, uh, if they had the money, would they? how much would they give up to be able to hear? Right. So let us not take our body for, for granted because some of the things we are doing will lead us to being uh, blind and deaf, brothers and sisters, and living and losing our senses that we have been gifted with. I'm going to go ahead and roll a clip of the minister. This is your brother Monroe Jr. T let's, let, let us all try to take care of our health, brothers and sisters. Where does Please. your food come from? 
Why does Jamaica owe billions of dollars for the importation of food when you could grow it yourself? But they grow it a thousand miles away and they cannot pick it after it is ripe. They have to pick it before it's ripe then they ripen it with chemical processes wax it color it and you eating it because it looks good in the supermarket and now you're dying of all these different cancers talk to me they are killing us off AIDS is a biological weapon Ebola is a biological weapon I read recently I don't know the truth but it has been patented if you can patent a virus that means somebody made it it ain't a natural thing they have to depopulate the earth by two to three billion people and you and I are in the crosshairs of the depopulation thrust most of our people that are sick the sickness and disease is really rooted in malnutrition have you heard that before yes, sir. if you haven't I want you to think about it everything that God wanted us to have to sustain and maintain life he already put it here he never made a health food store he just made the herbs and the bushes and he taught man how to use what he created to heal any illness of this body. When my teacher's teacher, Master Farad Muhammad, came to North America, the first thing he did was to go into people's homes that they would permit him in and look in their medicine cabinet. And he would take all the medicines out of the cabinet throw it in the garbage pail and point to the kitchen. See, that's your medicine cabinet. Well, what does that mean? If the kitchen is your medicine cabinet, who is your woman? See, sisters, you the doctor, baby. If you know the science of food, your children can be kept well because you know the science. Your husband can be kept strong as he goes out in this world to try and make some money to feed his family. You keep him strong with what you do in that kitchen. Where do you shop for food? Oh, well, you know, I'm too busy. I I don't know, I frozen this and, well, what the hell? I ain't wasting no time with him. Just throw it in the pot and go to the microwave and feed him. That ain't love. When you love that man, you gotta make sure he knows it through every morsel of food that he eats. My baby loved me. Because she proves it. Because I'm healthy. Now people look at Farrakhan and say, damn, I saw him the last time. He looked younger today. What, what, what's going on, man? Going on 84? Wow.
<laughs> now, I could sing that song. I got a woman <laughs> crazy about me. How do you know? <laughs> Look at me. You can tell I ain't cooking for me. Somebody's care.